Hello everyone, it's Michael V here with his uh, 51 Mercury project working with hyperthermal plasma cutting systems. Uh, as you can see, I've cut the firewall out of this car. Um, and the reason was the guy who replaced it before had uh, used 22 gauge, which is way, way too thin. I just wasn't happy with that. It wasn't going to hold anything in place. So uh, I cut all this out and, and have it all prepared to uh, put a whole new piece in here. So I ended up making myself a nice big paper template, which is right here. And basically I'll show you how it fits in. Takes you a little bit of time to cut these templates out, but once they're cut, you can see that it, it'll, it'll fit in there very nicely. So um, I traced this out on a very large piece of sheet metal and uh, went ahead and uh, used the uh, PowerMax 45 again to, uh, to cut all this out. Um, it came in particularly handy with these, uh, these narrow edges here, these angles, and also the notches. And uh, using that big, that straight line cutter that I have um, worked out very well to make these long straight cuts. Basically, here's the finished product. And uh, what I ended up doing was cut out the template just like I told you with the notches and so on. We put some beads in here and uh, ended up um, um, giving it a little bit of character and also stiffening it up. I'm just going to kind of hold it in place for you so you have an idea of what it looks like. Once I get everything clamped in place all together, I'll go ahead and weld it in complete from the inside and the back. It'll fit up there just exactly like it's supposed to, just like you see it. This will give you kind of an idea of how advantageous it is to have the plasma. Sure, you can cut this out with a, a bandsaw, a sawzall. You, if you have a giant shear, you can do that too. But the plasma made very quick work of this for me. And I made this out of 16 gauge to uh, keep it much stronger and, uh, and stiffer. So when I mount things on it, I know it's not going to move.